bitch. Shout out nigga, big homie, boss. Came on hours, on the drop, downtown. We can't go, better hit the big homie, boss. Hey, shout out nigga, big homie, boss. Fart in a way, put your arm up. Hello, family, y'all. I know y'all can tell your sis, tell Monique, yup, I got my bonnet on. Who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? Oh, okay. But y'all, I sound like this because I, I literally just got up and it's my uh, one month post-op and I'm rushing to my appointment because I'm so late, y'all. We slept. Darnell and Z is still asleep and it is 11.30. I think it's the rain, y'all. It rained last night. It had to be something because that sleep last night was, it was hitting different. It was hitting different. But y'all, before I get any further into this video, make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. You already know, turn on that bell so you know when your girl is on your screen, period. So that's my uh, one month post-op appointment. And as y'all know, I'm going to see my doctor. Oh, uh, just to give y'all a little update before I go in there. I'm actually five minutes away. But the titties been, well, let me say boobs or breasts. The the breasts been giving the girls what it's supposed to gain. The breasts know what the assignment was. My doctor knew what the assignment was, okay? Like, y'all, I'm going to show y'all in a minute, but my scar... Stop playing with my doctor. He is not one of them, okay? All my tape haven't fall off, but the bottom of my breast tape fell off, y'all. You could barely see my scar. Like, like, ah, like, they look good. They, they, I love them. I'm sorry. I love them. It was, it was, my money was worth it. I feel like I picked one of the best doctors, like, y'all, you know how people, uh, people, a lot of people I run into, they always say, I want to go to somebody who did the celebrities. I want to go somebody uh, who did Jada, who did Ari, who did... No, I want to go somebody who's going to take care of me, who's going to be for real. Them them doctors ain't going to treat you how they treat those celebrities. And, uh, and and everybody go to that doctor, so it's always packed. When I come in here, it ain't never packed. Uh, I see my doctor right away. It ain't nothing, never no extra because everybody ain't up on him, okay? Period. So... He did good. He took his towel. Me, he had like five, ten, fifteen procedures in one day. So he rushed on me. Nah, it wasn't none of that. He took his time. Don't play with him. He is not one of them. Period. Okay, y'all. So I just got in my room, and you know, you ready to put her robe on? I got my robe on or whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show y'all like the bottom where my scar at, so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But I don't want to let y'all see the boot. But like. Y'all see how it's healing so well, like, you could barely see the scar, like. Yeah, this like my little boob. Plump and pretty, stop playing with her. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I just wanna let, get y'all to peek on it. And right now when my doctor come in, you know he gonna feel, examine, do what he need to do. And I'm gonna keep y'all updated on what's going on. So, I'll be back. Yeah, <clears throat> my appointment is over. But before I put on my clothes, he took all my little tape off. So I wanted to show y'all like the under of my boot. So how it look and how it's healing. So that's it. It's a little ashy, but when I lotion up, we barely see it. Yeah, so what I when I leave out of here, what I'm gonna do is give y'all the rundown of everything he said and let y'all know why I was cut the way I was cut. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. Now, before I pull off and go back home, uh, I wanted to give y'all an a update on like everything he was saying. So for one, he said I'm healing perfectly. Like, that's been always with me. I don't know. Like, even when I got, uh, I never had surgery, but even when I got like piercings or anything or a scar or something i always healed decent you know what i'm saying it never was i never had a problem with healing but he said i'm healing perfectly but i've already noticed that i was like my scars are so flat and you know y'all seen how they look so he said the shape how they drop it and how they shaping 
it's looking good, which I noticed that too. Like, I love my shape. I love how it's forming. I love how it's coming all in place. Like, they look good. Y'all saw how full and uh, cute they be on the ground. And just now when I just showed y'all. <laughs> and um, the other thing he said was next that I got a uh, two-month appointment. So, I come back in two months. And he told me about these little cream this little cream to get for mascara if i want them a little bit more lighter and uh flatter at the ends the ends still have like a little scab on them so they'll fall off and then it'll just be like the rest of them so he said i can get some cream you know if i want to get the cream they got some pads where you just stick it on there and your scars get flat or whatever i gotta look more into that and then after that he just said come back in two months and we're gonna see how they um officially form how they officially drop and all of that good stuff so now I'm gonna explain to y'all why I was cut, how I was cut uh, horizontally and vertically, because I had to have two surgeries. Now y'all know I had a baby, so my titties was just flat. I had no tissue or none up at the top, so it was just so flat. So I had to get a lift, and I had to get um, the breast implant which was my choice. I could have just got a lift, but if I would have got a lift, it still, I didn't have no um, tissue. So if I would have got a lift, it still would have been kind of, my breasts would have still been small and flat. It just would have been lifted. So I still wanted that fullness and all that. So I decided to get an implant. So that's why I was cut the way I was cut because I did the, I did the lift and I did the implant. So I just want to explain that to y'all because if I would have just did the implant, I would have got cut probably just one little cut at the bottom I wouldn't hit that cut going up and down but I wanted to get that lift too because if I would have also just got the implant I don't have no tissue so it still would have been kind of that flat up here at the top like I wanted that fullness all the way around if y'all get what I'm saying that was all for my checkup uh, I will be vlogging this week for Big Homie Block's birthday. Big Homie Block's birthday is June 10th. This Thursday, we finna get lit. He got some big things going on. Of course, we gonna vlog that so y'all can be a part of that. And that's it. That's all I got for y'all. I got a small little surprise for him. But other than that, I'm gonna keep y'all in tune on that. I'm not gonna do nothing but go home, get something to eat. I think Darnell going to find him some shoes or something to wear for his birthday. Because it's already Monday, y'all. It's June! What the, where the fuck is time going? Where, because somebody tell me what time is going. I'm confused. Like, when I say time is flying, time is flying. Y'all, as I get older... This I want to say, y'all. Y'all always not go always on the rampage, but as I get older, y'all, I know this. I want to tell y'all, like, especially if you young, you watching me, or even if you grown, y'all, like, do you in life? Especially, I'm talking to my younger people, like, I wish I would, somebody would have told me, or I wish when I was younger, I knew to just do me. Don't focus on family too much. Don't focus on friends. Don't focus all on that. Just do you. Do you at the end of the day only worry about you and your family? Cause as I get old, as I get older, I notice people do them. People only worry about them and their family. People only worry about them and they circle. So worry, just worry about you. Yeah, you can love people. You, I ain't telling you shit on people or be mean to people or just cut people off. No, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to just do you. At the end of the day, do you? You can talk, hang, kick it, whatever, who, whatever you want to. But at the end of the day, make sure you only doing you. Make sure you're not putting too much energy into other people's lives, or giving people all your love and all your. That's why, when I, as I get older, I'm tired. I'm tired. Like I gave. I'm such a sweetheart. I give so much love. I'm not gonna sit on here and stun like I'm the. The fucking best person in the world, but I know I'm fucking good. Like I don't give motherfuckers no drama. Well, I try not to give motherfuckers no drama. I, I, baby. Mm. I don't want that's for a whole nother video, y'all. But uh, like I said, for my young people, if you watching me, just do you. I'm telling you why you young. Do not put, put y'all put that energy, put that drama energy or that all the all the wrong shit put that energy into you your business your future your schoolwork put that into you don't get involved with too much energy and too much family drama too much friend drama forget that put put do you put that energy into you your future and you like i said but y'all i'm gone i'm gonna go home and like i said i think darnell going shopping for his birthday 
And that's it for this vlog. Please y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me through this journey. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I love y'all so much. Make sure you turn on that uh, notification bell so you know when your girl, you already know it's on your screen. Period. 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 <laughs> now nah, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Mwah.